Good morning, everyone. You join us here in a West London hotel. Premier Ian, if you're interested. Robin, where are we going today? They've, they've gone and got shy, but we are going Disney World. You've already figured that out because of the title of this video. Already said it. You already said they already said it. They just didn't say it to the camera. So um, this is our Disney. Premier Ian, Disney. <laughs> And um, that's Heathrow Airport. I'll get. I'll show you a shot of that. Cause... Where are we going? <laughs> show you a shot out that window um, when it gets a bit lighter outside because it's a great view if you like planes. Um, right, so we're going to go down and have some breakfast. This is travel day. Enjoy. We're at breakfast. That is my fry up for the morning and my coffee, uh, which is very milky, which is fine. And River's got some Rice Krispies. Or we've got some weed to mix. Reagan's getting hers now, just coming back. So, um, I'm just putting the breakfast in because this is travel day. I'm documenting all of it from start to finish, so this is part of it. And oh wow, pancakes! And they've just gone off to get some fruit. Um, we booked breakfast with the room, so it was cheaper. We found a banana. Where's the bananas in the food bit? I got most animals with it. And pears! <laughs> Even pears. <laughs> so um, we did that because kids eat free here. Thought about going somewhere else for breakfast. I mean, there's a McDonald's next door. We went there for dinner last night. Um, but kids eat free here for breakfast. We booked it with the room, so all good. I'll show you the room, actually. Let's do that. Okay, so this is our room. At the moment, it's got a bellhop trolley in because Reagan just brought it up to put all our cases on because um, they don't move very well on the carpet in the corridor. So what have we got here? Safe down there. Beds. Big bed. Two little beds, um, which worked reasonably well, although River didn't really like sleeping in their bed and ended up in ours anyway. And the bathroom is the bathroom. It's a Premier Inn, they're all fairly similar, aren't they? There's a picture on the wall. And as I said earlier, the view of Heathrow Airport. So, if you look carefully over there, I'm sure you can see Terminal 5 and all the planes. And yesterday they were using the North Runway which is this one closest to us to take off. So we were watching all the planes take off and following along on flight radar. It just surprisingly entertaining to do that. <laughs> Passes the time. So plan now, get the suitcases onto that trolley and head down to reception. What does that, what size does that say? So we're now just waiting for our mini cab that's gonna take us over to the airport. Um, we're at the Terminal 5 Hotel, the airport is literally across the road and Terminal 3 is just down the road there and it looks like they're going to charge us 30 quid for the pleasure. The alternative is to get the bus and that would mean either walking all the way down there to the bus stop that goes to Terminal 3 or going to the bus stop over the road and going to Terminal 5 and then having to get the train across from 5 to 3. So this is a much better option in terms of um, convenience and pulling those suitcases is really difficult. We've got a lot of suitcases and not so many hands. So, uh, so this is the best option. Just expensive. Okay, so we're now waiting for our book assistance for Reagan. Um, stressful journey getting here. The taxi that they sent initially was too small. Um, it was tiny. And the guy was like, oh, you won't fit in my car. So then they had to send another one. Our bags are dropped. Uh, we're all checked in, we're all good to go. So we're just waiting for our book assistance and that will get us through security to airside. Obviously, I won't film security because you're not allowed. I will just mention as well, the Virgin staff here, the Virgin Atlantic staff um, at the check-in area and the bag drop were really lovely, really helpful, so good job. Well, Heathrow booked assistance is absolutely fucking useless. We were waiting there and they said, if you can walk a short distance, no more than a few minutes, no standing around, you can go and fast track through security. And then they took us on a, a stroll across the airport and a long wait in security, even in the fast track queue, ended up with Reagan's knee giving out, unsurprisingly. And then they brought us through security and now she's got to wait in the assistance um, area on this side. Well, there's, it's really busy in there, like absolutely packed. I don't know exactly what she's being told to wait for. If they'd give me a wheelchair, I could just push around because she could push the push chair from the wheelchair, but apparently you can't do that. So that's been a really stressful experience getting through there. So anyway, now we're just going for a little walk around um, the departure area, except Reagan, because she's sat waiting for a wheelchair. And I don't know where they're going to take her once they've got one. But uh, 
Let's see if we can find anything exciting in here. So we are having a Boots meal deal, which cost um, £4.19 each or something like that. I don't know, it came to like 12 22 It wasn't quite that much, was it? £12.20, whatever. Anyway, we're having some lunch. I'm standing because we're in the accessible uh, waiting room, which is anything but, and uh, it's soulless and bland and uh, a bit rubbish, but that is where we are. I think Reagan has to sit in here until the gate opens and then gets taken down on the trolley thing, the accessible mobility buggy thing. And the rest of us have to walk down there, but that's okay. Oh, we can all go on the buggy. We can all go on the buggy, apparently. But it just means you've got to sit in this hot, stuffy, noisy, boring room. I, d I don't know. Heat for accessibility really needs a bit of an overhaul, in my view. Okay, we're now on a bus. So they brought us... Um, the buggy eventually turned up um, when the gate said flight closing. Brought us down to the gate. Um, and then they had to use a wheelchair that was attached to the buggy to come from where the buggy could get to down to the actual gate itself. And we come through the gate and now we're on a bus and they said we've now got to walk up steps to get onto the plane. Now, what if the, you book accessibility assistance and you clearly state that you don't have the mobility, surely they should be you know, proactive in planning to, to ensure that you actually have a smooth journey through the airport. Heathrow's mobility assistance is absolutely terrible and I may have to write a strongly worded letter. But we're now on a bus, we're going to a plane, we're going to Orlando, we will be there soon. That one says it's love. What are we doing, Robin? We're on the plane on the way to holiday. We are, and we're above the clouds, and that's a lovely view. It's a nice blue sky above the clouds below us. We are across the Atlantic. In fact, I can show you where we are. What does this say? I don't know what it says. Hang on. Perfect. So that's where we are, south of Reykjavik. Uh, still quite a long way to go, 7.23. Good flight so far, the, the cabin crew have been absolutely brilliant so far and I'm sure they will be for the rest of the flight. Um, after the atrocious treatment we got from Heathrow's mobility staff, having a good cabin crew on here has meant so much, so Virgin Atlantic, we love you, well done. We are on the ground, we are on the ground at Orlando. Robin, how was your very first flight? I like it down a bit, but not up. They like coming into land and not so much going up. Okay, we're taxiing to the terminal. Um, we're going to be hanging on because obviously we've got booked assistance, so most people are going to be getting off the plane. We're going to be waiting a little bit. Then we've got to go through the border, and um, you can't film in there. So, jump cut to after that. This mobility assistance. This is how you do it. Look at this. This woman has helped us literally off the plane through bag check, got another wheelchair for our bags, and it's taken us all the way to our bus. That is how you do it. Heathrow, learn a lesson here. And Orlando International Airport, give this woman every possible race she can get. So here we are, 30 degrees in this um, concrete shell underneath Terminal B. Um, so this is where the Sunshine Flyer goes from. That's the bus that's going to take us to our resort. We're all checked in and ready for that. I love how the, um, the people doing all the checking in stuff wear like train uniforms. And all the buses are themed like on the side to make it look like an old uh, vintage locomotive or something like that. So it's really cool. And we're still here with the wheelchairs because the um, assistance person said we could just keep hold of them um, as long as we needed them until the bus came along because there's no benches in this area. So that, the, the, the difference, this, it's remarkable how different this airport can be to the absolute shit show that Heathrow was this, this morning. That was absolutely atrocious. And here it's just been incredible. So, um, so yeah, well done, Orlando Airport. Okay, just to let you guys know, my first drop will be Grand Floridian. <laughs> Oh, 
all checked in, all good, ready to go. We are at All Star Music. Um, we'll do a proper wander around the resort at some point. But oh, what a what a day, what a travel day. So we're all pretty tired, but we're gonna um, head to the room, get all our bags dropped off and everything, sort out something to eat, and these kids need to get to bed. But um, yeah, quick recap just in a sec. And we are in our room, oh, finally. So quick room tour, very quick room tour. Reagan's already out of it. We have got in here a fridge, drawer, coffee stuff. Uh, yeah, fridge drawer, coffee stuff. Some more drawers, cupboards. We'll put all our clothes and stuff in there. This table and this bed. So this is like a Murphy bed. It pulls down. Seeing how the first night goes, we may end up needing to ask if we can have a cot for a river to stay in if they don't stay in bed. And there's a bathroom. So we've got the shower in here. The shower and the bath. So it's got this, the shower up there and bathtub. I look exhausted tonight, right? And this this is uh, all the usual hairdryer, iron, little hangy place, uh, coat hooks, and everything. So, this is one of the cheapest hotels on Disney property, but you can see it's still better than like a really budget hotel over on International Drive or something like that. You pay a lot more for this than you do for that, and you do get what you pay for. So, let's get this bed out. <laughs> As if by magic. And look at that lovely picture on there. Oh, isn't that nice? And we have two enormous beds. Oh, we are so tired. So we've come down, me and Robin have just come over to the um, the quick service place here at um, All Star Music to get a pizza. Um, in the process of me and Robin walking down here, River fell asleep. Which is unsurprising because it's now, what is the time now? 10 past 9 here, which is 10 past 2. Isn't it? Yeah, 10 past 2 UK time. So we're going to have this pizza and go to bed. Uh, what a day it's been. Heathrow, not great. Well, all right, let's start from the beginning. Hotel transfer to Heathrow, not great. Heathrow, awful. Flight, good. Uh, Orlando Airport, good. Um, Sunshine Flyer, good. And All Star Music is all right, isn't it? So we're here. Let the magic begin. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the series. Tomorrow we're at Animal Kingdom, um, and in the morning we're getting our um, mobility scooter and double push chair that we've rented, and they get dropped off here at the hotel. So in the morning, and we're getting that. That'll be at the start of tomorrow's video, and then Animal Kingdom should be a good day. Hope you join us for that one whenever that gets uploaded in the future. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.